So now let's look fully at how you factorize by taking out a common factor. So if you asked to factorize 8x plus 12, what you're going to do is have a look and see, is there a number that divides into 8x as well as into 12? Now obviously 2 will divide into 8 and also into 12, but that's not the highest common factor. You'll also have 4 that can divide into 8 and into 12, and that is the highest number that will divide into both of them. So 4 will be what you can take out, and now we just have to figure what goes in the bracket. So remember here, 4 times this must give me 8x, so this must be 2x, and then 4 times this must give me plus 12, so this must be plus 3. Now imagine you were asked to factorize 18y plus 24. You might be able to do it quite easily, uh, but let's go and do it slowly just to show you a process. So we need to find the highest common factor of 18 and of 24. And if you can't immediately identify that, let me just recap with you how to find the highest common factor of two numbers. So we look at what are the factors of 18. And these will be 1 with 18, 2 times 9 gives me 18, 3 times 6 gives me 18, 4 doesn't divide into 18, 5 doesn't divide into 18, and then 6 does, but you've got it already, so you can stop there. Then let's also have a look at what the factors of 24 are. Same process. We start 1 multiplied by 24 gives me 24. Then we go to 2, and we'll get 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6, 5 doesn't divide into 24, and then 6, well, you've already got it, so you can stop. Now all you need to do is have a look at these two lists of factors and see what is the biggest number that occurs in both the lists, and you can see hopefully quite easily that that is 6. So 6 is our highest common factor, so we're going to pull out a 6, and we'll see here that 18y divided by 6 is 3y, and 24 divided by 6 is 4, and it's a plus 4 because it's a plus 24. And if we want to just check, 6 times 3y is 18y, 6 times 4 is 24. We've got it right. If you are asked to factorize 10x minus 15xy, again, what you've got to look for is the biggest thing that will divide into 10x, as well as into minus 15xy. Number-wise, it's fairly easy, right? 5 divides into 10 and also into 15. But in this case, you also have an x that can divide into 10x as well as into 15xy. So x will be another part of what you take out. What's left in the brackets? Well, 5x times this must give you 10x, so this must be 2. And here, 5x multiplied by this must give you minus 15xy. So obviously what is here has to be minus 3y.